Okay, so setting the sensor settings. Sensor settings. Can I have my high settings? I want to get an alert just at one for one time period. So if my glucose level hits 12, I want to be alerted because usually that will mean I've got my carb counting wrong um, or there's something wrong with the insulin. And you can personalise the alert. So you can have the alert before high, which is going to tell you before you go high. I'm going to leave that off because there's a risk of too many alarms. But I do want to be told with alert on high. So when it hits that 12, that's when I want to be told. A rise alert you could set, which is if it's rising quickly, you'll get an alert. But to be honest, I only want to know if I'm going ab hitting 12 and going above because the glucose level can move quite quickly. But it might only be moving from 5 to 10, which is which is fine. So next, the high settings done. Just a review of them there. Perfect. So this is, so the high snooze is if it hits 12, then when will it alert again? Well, in an hour's time, if it's not gone below 12, usually insulin's gonna take a little bit longer to work. So I'm gonna set that at two hours so that the bolus that I've given us a chance to work. Perfect. Okay, so for the low settings, this is where we're going to set up the smart guard. So we'll turn those on. So I'm going to have three different settings. So I want one overnight, so up until 7 o'clock in the morning. And what I want here is, is I'm going to set that the suspend before low at 3.2, which means that it's going to aim to keep me 1.1 above that. So it's going to aim to keep me above 4.3. The reason why I'm setting that a little bit lower overnight is because if this smart guard is going to work, it should work at its best overnight when there's only the basal insulin dripping in, there's no bolus insulin, there's no large amounts of activity causing drops in glucose levels. So it should be able to manage the glucose levels if for me, because I like to run quite tight, so it's going to aim to keep me at 4.3 and above. So we want the suspend before low on. Perfect. I don't want to be alerted because I want this pump to suspend the insulin and then resume it without me knowing about it if it's going to get there. And obviously I can go back and review my results, but I don't want those alerts through the night. And you can actually then have a decision whether you want to have an alert when it actually resumes the basal. But again, I want to keep that off for me. So that's the ones for the night. And then for the ones during the day, up until 10 o'clock at night where I go to bed, I'm going to have it set slightly higher. Because during the day, when you've got extra bolus insulin knocking about and you have activity, the drops can be quicker. Therefore, suspending the basal will be effective but it might not be it might take a little bit more time in my opinion for it to work so if i've got that suspend before low set at 3.6 then the pump is going to aim to keep my glucose level above 4.7 and above therefore if there is a drop because i've over bolus or there's a bit of extra activity the suspending the basal should be more effective at a higher level so again let's get this suspend before low set on and i don't want to be alerted now you during the day might want to be alerted, but for me, I'd rather that this um, that smart guard does its job and let's let's have a review and see how it goes. You'll see that if it hits that 3.6 in this case, I'll always get an alert. So if it does hit that level, I will always be alerted. So if I do it that that level, I have to test my BG. And then for the night one, we'll go through to midnight and we'll have that at the same setting. So go to bed at 10. So suspend before low on, don't want the alert before low, it has to have the alert at 3.2 if it hits there, but hopefully it shouldn't do if the, um, the smart guard does its job, and then the resume alert off. So in summary, any, anything from when I'm asleep, the pump is going to aim to keep my glucose level at 4.3 and above, because that's 1.1 above that low limit, and then during the day when the drops might be a little bit quicker, the pump's going to aim to keep my glucose level at 4.7 and above. So done that, just a little summary of the different times. And then if it does hit that lower limit, it will then quieten the alarm for 20 minutes once I've actioned that, that should be enough time to treat the glucose level and come back up. Okay, auto calibration off. 
that's already off. Perfect. Okay, looks like we're we're good to go. And now you can see on the screen that my little red line is at 3.6 there for the low and at 12 for the high. And you can see that the shield is off because it's still in its warm-up period for the calibration.